Let's talk about why there's an upper limit to how fast a plane can go. So in this question for GCSE physics, it says an airplane accelerates from a low speed to a high speed with the engine at maximum power. Explain why acceleration is not constant. Basically, why is it not gonna keep on accelerating forever? Um, so we know on a plane, we've got a forward force. Um, now in the reverse direction, um, we are going to have some air resistance or some drag. Now the idea is that initially, um, it says that they're gonna travel with the engines at maximum power. So we'd say something like at maximum power power, the force from the engines is constant, or the forward force is constant. Now after a while, the air resistance will increase. With increasing speed, it's going to hit more air particles, so the air resistance increases. So as that happens, um, there is going to be a reduced or decrease um, resultant force. Now if you don't know what that word resultant force means, a really good one to use in exams, basically means this minus this. Um, so they go in opposite directions, so we subtract them. So um, resultant force is decreased, and that's because the resultant force is the forward minus um, the forward force minus um, air resistance, or the difference between them, you could say. Now the question asks about acceleration, and uh, we've been talking about forces, so we've got to link those two things together. So due to Newton's second law, F equals MA, um, acceleration um, is proportional to um, the force acting on the plane because there's a constant mass.